this is one of the uh, uh, best stories um, of today. And it's a very interesting story, and it comes out of the Daily Mail. And I thought that, um, you know, whenever we use nature to balance nature, it's a good thing. So what, what what they're saying is they're saying tiny worms could be used to sniff out lung cancer cells and urine, saliva, and samples, less like dogs, study says. Um, and I know you can put worms and stuff on certain infections and stuff, and they'll heal you. So y'all know that to be true. So, But with their incredible sense of smell, dogs are often used to sniff out various forms of cancer in human breath, blood, and urine. Now a new study suggests that tiny worms could also be used the same way to sniff out lung cancer. Researchers um, from the University of Korea in a lab conducted uh, roundworms e ciliagens and found that found it wrinkles its way towards cancer cells by following an odorous trail. Based on these findings, the researchers suggest that a worm on a chip evidence could offer doctors a non-evasive way to detect and diagnose lung cancer at an earlier stage. Wow. Um, currently, lung cancer is diagnosed through imaging or biopsies. However, these methods uh, often mean that tumors aren't detected at their earliest stages. While previous research has shown that dogs can be trained to sniff out human cancer, unfortunately, canines aren't practical to keep in the laboratory. But in their new study, the researchers found, found a set out to understand why neotoads, tiny worms measuring just of 0.04 inches long, could be used to detect cancer um, like in dogs. That is amazing. That is amazing. Lung cancer cells produce a different set of odor and molecules than normal cells. It's well known that the cell of uh, the soil dwelling neotoad is attracted to and or repelled by certain orders. So we came up with the idea that the roundworm could be used to detect lung cancer. Wow. The team developed a polio disseminate istamir chip that had a well that had a well at each end connected by channels to a central chamber. Once placed on an agar plate, the researchers added a drop containing lung cancer cells on one end and a drop containing normal lung cells on the other end. The worms that the worms that was placed in the central chamber were then left to crawl in the direction that they wanted to go. After an hour, the researchers found that more worms had crawled towards the drop containing the lung cancer cells than towards the normal cells. So, in a follow-up study, the researchers were able to pinpoint specific order molecules that the worms were attracted to in the lung cancer cells. Wow. Interesting, huh? Wow. In a follow-up study, they said um, it was two to one. And we don't know why C. elegans are attracted to lung cancer tissues, um, but we guess that the orders are similar to the sense of their favorite foods. That is... Anyway... Um, they said, based on these initial tests, the researchers estimate that the worm on a chip device is in its current reiteration um, is about 70% effective in detecting cancer cells. And they hope to improve on these results by using worms that have previously been exposed to cancer cells and have developed a memory uh, for some specific order modifications. I order molecules. We will collaborate with medical doctors to find out whether our methods can detect lung cancer in patients at an earlier stage, Dr. Choi added. Once perfected, the researchers are hoping to extend their testing on urine, saliva, and even breath of cancer patients. 
The researchers presented their results last week at a spring meeting of the American Chemical Society, ACS. Oh, so that's 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 some uh pretty good research that's using life to discover uh issues that you may be having uh, in your body. So I think that's uh what y'all think about it? Using worms to affect and locate cancers in your body as opposed to biopsies and going through all that type of stuff. Anyway, let me know what you think about this article. Uh, these tiny worms being used uh, to uh, sniff out lung cancer cells. All right. Like what you hear, subscribe and share, and I will see you in the next.